In today's video, I will share with you my numbers from my very first year selling on Amazon. And I'll also share with you guys two top takeaways that you can utilize in your business today and also two mistakes that I made that you shouldn't really be doing as a beginner. So be sure that you stay tuned. What's going on guys, Bashar Ketu here. If this is your very first time to my channel, consider subscribing. Also be sure to hit the bell as I post brand new content about selling on Amazon every single Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, which is 8 p.m. Eastern, about Amazon selling, tips and tricks that you can take and utilize in your business today. Now, when I first began selling on Amazon, I had literally just lost my restaurant. That was back in 2015. And I had I was about $150,000 in debt, and I just simply didn't have a whole bunch of money to invest in a business, right? So I knew that I had to make something happen. And you know, the reason why I started with Amazon out of everything else that I was bombarded with on YouTube and Facebook and Google was just simply for the fact that I was sick and tired of running a, a, a traditional business where you know it had a, a million different moving parts and you know managing tens of employees at once. And I wanted something that I can operate from the comfort of my home from my laptop, you know, using just internet and my computer and that I can literally do from anywhere in the world. So what I started doing was I actually started driving to stores like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Walmart, buying products and then simply flipping them on Amazon and which is a concept called also arbitrage. I still remember it was December of 2015, the first, pretty much the first um, full month of me selling on Amazon and I had found this doll that I can simply buy for about $12, $13 and then flip it on Amazon for between $37 to $42. Of course, Amazon took their cut, but I was profiting between $12 to $19 per doll and I made $1,200 on that very first month. Let me tell you, I was stoked. I mean, I was static, right? The fact that I was able to generate $1,200 from the comfort of my home, although I had to do a bunch of driving around, but you know, I wasn't involved in the day-to-day -day operation. I wasn't involved in you know uh, uh, obtaining the customer, you know, delivering the product to them, you know, personally or really interacting with the customer. I was just very thrilled. Now I did that for a couple months after, and I think the most I made with that concept was about $22 or $2,300 per month in net profits, right? But then I realized that in order for me to scale, if I wanted to really take that thing to the next level, I had to do something that was a little bit more passive, right? And I knew that I couldn't do it with retail arbitrage because I simply couldn't be driving around everywhere simply because, you know, um, I needed to always be finding new products as let's say if I went to Walmart and I would sell a pen, for example, Walmart only would have 10. Well, there are 10 Walmarts in my, you know, in my, let's say in a 20 mile radius. And if each one had, you know, uh, um, 10, that's hundred units, but then I would sell out very quickly and I had to always be finding new products and always be driving around and always be researching. And that is when I discovered a brand new method called private label. And that's where you order from China in bulk, ship it to Amazon, Amazon does customer service for you. And that's when really my business, I knew my business had the potential of just simply scaling to the moon. Now, let me tell you, it didn't start as rainbows and sunshines. I actually flopped my very first three products. And that is when we're going to go into the top two things that I wouldn't do as an Amazon beginner seller. So the very first mistake that I made was simply launching multiple products at the same time. You see, when you are first starting out, you simply don't exactly have the experience and it's already a whole bunch of information that's being thrown at you. And what happens is that you get super excited and then you just, a lot of times you miss a bunch of things that you really should have not missed. For instance, on that very first product, the molecular model kit that I launched, I simply figured out as it was being shipped from the supplier to Amazon that the product was seasonal. And had I actually only invested my time, my energy in one product and really spent more time to you know, figure out what that product was, I wouldn't have made that mistake. Now, the second mistake that I made was simply listening to too many people and simply watching too many things, right? What happened was, I was part of like 10 Facebook groups and watching like 50 different YouTube channels and listening to too many people and every person was pulling me in different directions 
One person telling me that you should launch seasonal products. One person telling me that you should launch products that could sell all year long. One person telling me that I should, you know, launch products that sell between ten to fifteen dollars. One person telling me that I should launch products that sell thirty dollars or more. Right. So I had too many conflicting information, and I see that happen with many beginner sellers nowadays. Is that they just listen to too many things, and honestly, in past experience. I have learned that not having a mentor is even better than having too many mentors. Now, right after that, after launching, you know, three products that actually failed, first product being the molecule and model kit, second product being the faucet extender, and third product being a, a little dart vest with uh, like for kids uh, uh, with like goggles and things like that. Both or all three of those actually flat, you know, fell flat on their faces and just did not do very well. And that's when I realized a common mistake between that business, which was the first three products, and my restaurant business failing, was simply me not having a blueprint, me not having someone to coach me through everything and show me really how everything is done. And that is when everything changed for me. The next thing I did was I invested back into myself, into my self-education, my self-development, bought my first course, and then my business just simply took off from there. Right after that, we launched our first brand that actually did very well, and that was uh, the first product in that brand. It was a pet brand. The first product was uh, there's this blue glove. It's got like a bunch of dots. You guys probably have seen it. Um, it was uh, for a pet grooming glove. It was a bundle with a uh, brush and a lint roller. That went to doing very well, and then we launched multiple products under that same brand. And that brand actually, within six months, went to doing between 45 to $65,000 per month in revenue. Now, our second brand was in the beauty category, and I launched something called a Derma Roller and then a Jade Roller, and actually those products in that entire brand went to doing over um, $120,000 per month in revenue to a total of about $170,000 per month in revenue. Honestly, now looking back at it, the two top things that actually really made me successful in my Amazon journey was number one, making sure that I did thorough research, right? Making sure that I really, you know, spend time in the research phase because it doesn't matter how much marketing you know or how good you are at target, you know, at uh, ranking products or gaining reviews or creating listings, but if the product sucks, you're just not gonna get very far, right? So spending time in the product research phase Spending time and getting the good you know, price from the supplier, spending time and creating a perfect listing, and most importantly, spending time and in, 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 in doing the due diligence and the person who's gonna show you how it's done, which leads me to my point number two. So the second reason why I became successful in my Amazon business because I started realizing that, you know what? Someone else has done this before me, and instead of me figuring things out on my own through trial and error, I would rather have someone give me their blueprint have them gone through the trial and error and came up with a system and I'll just follow their system. And ever since then, I invest at least six figures per year in my self-education every single year. And let me tell you, self-education and self-development and investing back into myself has been the best investment that I ever, ever made in my life. Now guys, Bashar Ketu here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also hit the bell as I post brand new content every single Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. So I would love to hear from you guys if you can share your experience with Amazon so far. So if you drop in the comment section, simply where you are in the process, whether if you are a complete beginner, if you are someone who you know has tried and launched a couple products, or if you're a complete you know uh, killer, right? I wanna hear from you in the comment section. Now, if you're someone that's just starting out, want to start Amazon or simply struggling to really make it work, what I have done is I have made a couple spots available on my calendar and my team's calendar where we'll jump on a call with you, figure out exactly where you are, what is holding you back, and how we can take you to the next level. And if it's a good fit, we'll kind of explain to you how working with me personally looks like. All you have to do is find a link in the description below, click on it, fill out a short survey where you know it'll give us a better understanding of who you, who you are, what it is that you need exactly, and let's jump on a one-on-one -on -one call. But aside from that, guys, I will see you next Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Have yourselves a great week and take care.